Hi folks. So for today's video, I thought I'd delve into the wonderful world of owl pellets. First off, what the heck is an owl pellet? So here's one right here. Now owls don't have teeth, so that means they have to swallow their prey whole. And that includes all the indigestible pieces, such as the fur, the bones, and the feathers. Now, once the food goes down to the gizzard, acids break down the proteins which are digested. Now the byproducts, which is the, the fur, the bones, and the feathers, are compressed into what they call a pellet. Now it sits in the gizzard until eventually it is regurgitated out of the mouth in the form of a pellet, which is called casting a pellet. Now, it's not poop, which is a misconception. A lot of people believe when they see these pellets that it is automatically owl poop. No, it's not. These pellets actually don't smell. Um, they're wet at the start, but they're dry very quickly. And it's basically just compressed fur and bones. Now, pellets are coughed up about once every day and usually consists of about two or three meals in each pellet. Now, the cool thing about owl pellets are, is once you dissect them, you can see exactly what the owl had eaten for its meal. And that's what we're gonna do next. Now, watching an owl cough up a pellet is a pretty interesting sight to see. Um, think of it kind of like a cat coughing up a fur ball, but without the disgusting sounds a cat might make. Now, I've been fortunate over the years to capture on video two owls regurgitating a pellet. Now the first clip you're gonna watch right here is an adult barred owl coughing up a pellet, and the second clip is actually a youngster barred owl regurgitating a pellet. So watch closely and see how the whole process happens with owls and pellets. Now, if you're interested in dissecting your own pellets, first you're gonna to have to get your hands on some. Now, they're readily available for ordering online, or if you're lucky enough, you can find your own when out in the woods. Now, owls will often regurgitate their pellets while roosting during the day up in a tree. And they'll stay in that same tree and it'll be their roost spot for many, many weeks. Now, I've been fortunate over the years to find a few roosting spots, and I've got a good collection of both barred owls and great horned owl pellets, which I'm gonna be dissecting a little bit later. So first of all, find some pellets. Um, one thing that happens now is back in the day, children would dissect frogs for school projects. That doesn't happen anymore. And actually school children now are dissecting owl pellets. So it's become a very popular hobby and a way of learning about both science and nature and actually what owls eat without doing any harm to the animals. Now, the other thing I'd recommend if you're gonna be dissecting owl pellets is to pick yourself up an owl pellet bone sorting chart. Now you can print one of these off for free online and I'll include a link um, to the one that I'm actually using in the description below. So feel free to print that off when you get your pellets. Now let's take a few of these pellets out and let's look inside. Now I prefer to use bare hands when dissecting pellets, but if you feel more comfortable, use rubber gloves. Whichever the case, just wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water when you're finished. Some other things I like to have on hand is some tools. So you can either have tweezers. I prefer to use a dental tool such as this, just to get the fur away from the bones when I'm dissecting them. Dissecting is quite easy. There's no real art to it. Simply just start pulling apart the pellets gently to expose the bones that you're gonna find inside. So as you can see, Pulling some of these bones out, put them off to the side. Now 
Now this pellet I'm using right here, um, this was from a great horned owl. And the pellet that you can see beside there is from a barred owl actually. So you can see there's some jaw bones that I'm pulling out right now. Here's another piece of the skull. piece of a jaw right there, which looks like it's a rodent. And that's why the bone chart is, uh, comes in really handy. So what you can do once you've got all the bones out from your pellets is to compare them to the chart to find out what animals and prey that your owl was feeding on. So just to speed it up, we'll go uh, break into this one. Here's a nice skull right here. And this is where the tools can come in handy from pulling out this fur that's in the bones. There you have it. There's lots of other little bones in here, but just to, just to give you an idea, I just wanted to show you quickly some of the bigger ones. And that's how you dissect owl pellets. There you have it. Now once you've dissected your pellets, drop the bones into a container, either a bottle or a Tupperware container like I'm using here. Fill it with one part hydrogen peroxide and three parts water. Make sure the seal is good and tight. And just give it a little shake and set it aside for one or two days. This is what you'll end up with. Nice clean bones, bleached. Now you will still have to pull apart some of the fur when you take it out of here, but it's much easier. Use your tools and this is what the end result is. And once you have your bones just like this, you can compare them to your bone chart and you can figure out exactly what that owl was feeding on in terms of prey, which is super cool. And there you have it, the wonderful world of owl pellets. It truly is a fascinating study, um, both the mechanics of how an owl pellet is produced and what's inside an owl pellet. And if you have the chance to dissect some pellets yourself, I highly recommend it. Now, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, leave me a comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of science-based videos. I do a lot of trail camera, nature, and one of my specialties is owls. So look around on this channel. There's a whole lot of owl videos for you to enjoy. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you out in the woods or on the water next time.